Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. The purpose of today's video is to describe the characteristics of a message start and end event and how you can model these notations using our handled failed security test process as an example. So let's open up our modeling tool and get started. But before building the model, let's discuss message start event characteristics. First and foremost, it's displayed with an envelope marker inside the circle. Message start events can be used for top level processes or event sub processes. Messages are received from a participant. Examples of messages can be phone calls, text, emails, social media notifications, snail mail, or taskings from a staff meeting. And message is a concept in BPMN that transfers control of the process to another process. And in this example, we're going to illustrate that modeling pattern of a pool and message flow to connect to our process. What this means is for our process as it begins, we receive a failed security test notification from the AWS SNS. And what you'll see is that message flow, the event being triggered, and we're able to work on the first task in our process, which is the check latest status. And essentially that status describes that the dependency check failed with our widget library and that the library is two major versions old. And so building our model, we can describe this, the task here and we can receive the, you know, we can receive, complete a task, complete the next task, which is review error message. And then because we're updating the latest library version, we can use a message end event to show or communicate that we're sending that information back to the AWS SNS to communicate that the library version has been updated. And so that's what you'll see the message end event sending that information. A quick note is message end events are just like message start events in a way that they can be used when you're using phone calls, text, emails, in this case, versioning updates. Um, and one key difference is that message end events are indicated with a dark circle and a dark envelope. Um, that's the main one of the main differences. And so there you have it, a simple way to use a message start and end event.